And finally, in this particular case, there is yet one last mechanism by which white pine protects us. When we look at the specific particle that has been released from Fukushima that we're finding here on our continent in North America, it is radioactive cesium. Now, much like heavy metals can replace other crucial minerals in our body at important enzyme binding sites and create health problems, cesium replaces potassium in our body. So any place where we are deficient in potassium, cesium can bind and then it can interrupt important cellular activities. So it's really important that we keep this in mind and be sure that we're doing the research necessary to get high potassium content foods in our diet. And in this case, the highest mineral that has been determined from assays of pine pollen is in fact potassium, meaning that we will have an abundance of potassium if we're consuming this on a regular basis. And in doing so, we make sure that those enzyme binding sites are saturated with potassium so that cesium has no place to bind, and in which case our detoxification strategies, we can use those to remove cesium from our body. Now once I've gathered the pollen cones, I like to bring them back place them in a glass container and set it in the freezer. The freezing helps to rupture or break the cell wall so that we can much more easily absorb the constituents that are in the pine pollen. Commercially, uh, some manufacturers actually gather the pollen and then shoot it against a hard surface to also facilitate rupturing those cells. For us, the freezing serves as kind of a low-cost, low-tech version of doing the same thing. After I take it out of the freezer, I then put it in a mortar and pestle and grind this up a bit prior to either consuming or uh, soaking it in an organic alcohol so that I can make a tincture. The tincture is nice because it serves as a solvent to extract the constituents as well as uh, it makes it uh, a preservative so that I don't have to keep it refrigerated. Know that there's no literature that says that rupturing the cell walls makes it better or more easily absorbable. This is sort of a theory. And given that pine pollen has been consumed in traditional medicine in Eastern countries for a very long time without any of these methods, I want you to be aware that you can simply eat the pollen cones as they are, keep them in the refrigerator or the freezer where they'll keep for a long time, and you can simply enjoy those protective and nutrition benefits that we spoke about when we were in the field. Now, if you are in an area where you don't have access to pine pollen, there are other options. For example, you can purchase pine pollen products, and though there are undoubtedly many reputable companies to purchase from, I'd certainly recommend Surthrival because I'm aware of the care that goes into the sourcing and the manufacturing of the products. And you can go to Surthrival.com to look at the products that they have there, including pine pollen tinctures. If you don't want to purchase but you're still very much interested in wild versions that you can collect of foods and plants that will help protect you from radioactive particles, well then I suggest that you either go to my website or you go to the website of the main Primitive Skills School www.primitiveskills.com where you can get a schedule of classes and there you can come to some of the healing with plants classes where you can find out alternatives replacements for pine pollen that can be gathered from around here on the landscape that serve many of the same if not the exact same functions as pine pollen and uh, I hope to see you there <laughs>